defense is nearing the end of its case in the marathon bombing trial, and they are still fighting to call a death penalty opponent made famous in the movie Dead Man Walking to the stand. News Center 5's Kelly Tuthill is live at the courthouse with more on that and the testimony the jurors did hear today. Kelly. Well, Heather, they didn't hear from sister uh, Helen Prejean, but they did hear a lot more about what a supermax prison sentence would really mean for the Boston bomber. He's a paid defense witness, but even prosecutors acknowledged in a sidebar this man's testimony could carry a lot of weight for jurors deciding whether to sentence Shohar Sarnayev to life or death. Prosecutor Steve Mellon grilled Mark Beasy, former prison warden and consultant, about whether restrictions on the Boston bomber could eventually be eased if he's sentenced to life at the Supermax prison in Florence, Colorado. He can ask for it, Beasy explained. It's up to the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI to amend this SAMS or special. Administrative measures. The feds have imposed restrictions on Sarnayev's calls, visits, and correspondence. Beasy said terrorists under restrictions serve time on the H unit in small cells with little human interaction. But inmates, he said, can and do gain more freedoms there and do find ways to interact with other inmates. If the SAMs are lifted, prisoners can be moved to another unit. But Beasy told the jury even general population at ADX means you're never unescorted any place you go. And inmates sit in their cells, locked in their cells every day. Beasy told the jury he thinks it's unlikely Sarnayev would ever be transferred from this Colorado prison because of his notoriety. In my opinion, there would be inmates in other populations who would want to do great bodily harm to him. The defense wants to put well-known death penalty opponent, Sister Helen Prejean, on the stand, but prosecutors have filed a motion to prevent her from testifying. Now, the court day ended rather early. It looks like the judge wanted some more time to consider that request to put this death penalty opponent on the stand. If she does not testify, the defense will likely rest on Monday morning, and then the prosecution takes over for what we expect to be a relatively short rebuttal case. Live at the federal court, I'm Kelly Tuthill, WCBB News Center 5.